a recently discovered lake of molten carbon under the western United States, under the area of supervolcano Yellowstone and the active volcano Long Valley of California. Earthquake swarms by the hundreds in the past few days with seismologists warning that blowout could take place any time now. They're warning that residents should be ready just in case. This recent discovery is the reservoir of molten carbon the size of Mexico discovered under the Western United States. Royal Holloway University of London has an article with details concerning this is situated under Western United States 217 miles or 350 kilometers between the Earth's surface. The upper mantle could contain up to 100 trillion metric tons of melted carbon. That's a huge amount. This is a recent scientific discovery and it has drastically changed our view of global carbon cycle and identified this new significant risk. Researchers discovered this giant lake made up of molten carbon sitting just below western United States. Molten carbon, primarily in the form of carbonate, in this lake could drastically immediately change the global climate for over a decade if it were to be released. The carbon sits, as we said, 217 miles beneath the surface in the upper mantle and has no immediate pathway to the surface, but in total the lake covers approximately 700,000 square miles, as you can see from the map, approximately the size of Mexico. It has redefined how much carbon scientists believe sits locked away in the Earth's mantle and its interconnection with surface and carbon in our atmosphere. These uh, researchers, these, this finding is from the geologists of Royal Hallow University of London. They were able to use largest array of seismic centers in the world and this is how they detected what exists below the surface of western United States. They used a total of 538 centers and that's how they created the three-dimensional view of the region's subsurface. They did this by measuring the time it takes for sound waves to travel into the earth and bounce back and depending on the structure of stone in the subsurface different waves will bounce back at different times and at different angles. They used complex algorithms, integrated data to reveal picture of what exists below the surface of the Earth, and these scientists are limited to viewing the molten lake through seismic imagery as it is far too deep to reach via a drill bit. Now you have to ask, how is this lake of molten carbonate existing in the first place? It's a result of the Pacific Plate subduction going underneath the Northern Plate. And as the Pacific Plate subducts, it experiences increasingly high pressure and temperatures. And this combined with the pressure of gases such as CO2, carbon dioxide, and water locked away in the rocks, it allows for partial melting of the plate. It's a process similar by which Rocky Mountains formations in the Western United States have been formed, have been created. Now, as to where this molten carbon reservoir is found, it sits below the National Park of Yellowstone, Yellowstone the supervolcano, and it sits below the California Long Valley volcano, which we uh, posted videos about yesterday concerning the fact that it's active and there is a blowout warning concerning both of these volcanoes. The fact that they had hundreds of earthquake swarms in the past few days is an indication as well as the changing, the rising of the surface of the land uh, and also the California Long Valley volcano, volcano has minus depth epicenters of earthquakes, meaning that the earthquakes are not under the ground level, they are in the lava, which is welling into the volcano, which is, of course, above ground level, 
it's in the earthquakes are taking place inside the lava that is filling up the caldera of the volcano. Now, when the scientists found this vast buried deposit of molten carbon, which produces carbon dioxide and other gases, situated under the western United States, beneath the Earth's surface, as a result of the study they published in the Earth and Planetary Science Letters, the scientists now believe the amount of CO2 in the Earth's upper mantle may be up to 100 trillion metric tons. So in comparison, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency estimates the global carbon emission in the year 2011 was nearly 10 billion metric tons, which is a tiny amount in comparison. This deep carbon lake discovered will eventually make its way to the surface through volcanic eruptions and contribute to climate change, albeit very slowly, but with sudden release, could have dire consequences. A nuclear volcanic winter from the pyroclastic ash. Dr. Sash Heer Madumer of the University of London's Department of Earth Sciences led the study. He said, the residence time of this carbon in the mantle is relatively large, nearly 1 billion years, so this reserve is not an imminent threat, he says. But one important mechanism by which carbon sinking into the mantle via the subduction oceanic plate can make its way back to the surface by arc volcanism. So the volcanoes, of course. Arc volcanism returns about 30 to 40 percent of this total carbon back into the atmosphere. The remaining carbon stays in the mantle for much longer, but 30 to 40 percent of this coming into the atmosphere, you can imagine what that means. That means that all life, plant and animal, will no longer be able to survive 30 to 40 percent increase of carbon in the air. This would change the atmosphere as we know it. He added, we might not think of a deep structure of the Earth as linked to climate change above us, but this discovery not only has implications for subterranean mapping, but also for our future atmosphere. For example, releasing only 1% of this CO2 into the atmosphere, not 30 or 40, as they say, will, will be released, but only 1% into the atmosphere will be the equivalent of burning 2.3 trillion barrels of oil. The existence of such deep reservoirs show how important is the role of deep earth in the global carbon cycle. As a result of this study, scientists believe now that the amount of CO2 in the Earth's upper mantle may be up to 100 trillion metric tons. The area covered by the study includes Yellowstone National Park, where previous research has uncovered evidence of a supervolcano which could spell danger for the planet, the whole planet, the volcano at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming and Montana sits atop a huge reservoir of molten rock. And it, that molten rock, in my previous video just before this one, is uh, four times, that molten uh, magma chamber is four times bigger than what they originally thought. So you can think of Yellowstone as being four times bigger supervolcano than thought just a couple of years ago. Right? Terrible. The volcano at Yellowstone National Park have, it sits atop this huge reservoir of molten rock and it lasted, uh, erupted 640,000 years ago. It's due for a release. Now they have surface changes there and as we said, hundreds of earthquake swarms in the past few days. The release around 45,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide each day. If it were not to erupt, it would be 1,000 times as powerful as the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption and have the potential to blanket the whole of the United States in a nuclear winter. So that's the climate chaos. The whole of the United States would no longer be viable. While it has lain dormant for more than 70,000 years, Scientists say that we cannot rule out the possibility of eruption, that this may someday take place, although they say the chances are slim. The Grand Prismatic Hot Spring in Yellowstone National Park is among the park's many hydrothermal features created by, as we know, the Yellowstone supervolcano. Now, it's not just the volcanic nuclear winter, winter that takes place. We also have 
paleoclimatic fluctuations in carbon dioxide, they create ice ages and greenhouse global conditions partially linked to dynamic changes in volcanism. The molten carbon through thermal decomposition would release carbon dioxide and calcium dioxide, and it would need a viable pathway to Earth's surface to inject the CO2 into the atmosphere. As we said, the release of 1%, only 1% of the mantle's carbon would equate to burning 2.3 trillion barrels of oil, giving some perspective on just how important it is to understand this deep carbon system that has recently been found and how it interacts with and drives atmospheric carbon systems creating climate change. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.